into a dead calm. The woman tells the killing from the windows of a moving elevator train. The train had five cars, and she saw through the windows of the last two cars. She remembers the most insignificant detail. Exactly. How about that? It doesn't sound right to me. Supposing you think about it. Might as well play some tic tac toe with that. Listen to the game! Now hold on a second. This is a man's life! Who do you think? Hey, you are? relax, relax. I got a good mind to just knock you out already. Do it, please. I don't want any fighting in here. The nerve, perhaps. It's all right. You don't need it. Just sit down. This is it a game? Weren't we talking about elevated trains? Yes, we were. So, how long does an elevated train pass a given point? What's that got to do with anything? How long would it take? Yeah, I wouldn't have the slightest idea. Neither would I. I don't think they mentioned it. What do you think? <laughs> about 10, 10 or 12 seconds. I say that's a fair guess. Anybody else? I don't think about this. About 10 seconds, yes. All right, we're agreed. 10 seconds. Now, what are you getting at? This. An L train passes a given point in 10 seconds. That given point is the window of the room in which the killing took place. You can almost reach out the window of that room and touch the L, right? That's right. I tried it. So, all right. How many of you ever lived close to the L track? I've been close to them. They make a lot of noise, don't they? Yes, they do. I've lived right by the L tracks. When the train is open, when your window's open and the train goes by, the noise is almost unbearable. You can hardly hear yourself think. Okay, you can hear yourself think. Get to the point. The old man said that he heard the voice say. He didn't say it, he screamed it. Oh, right. The old man said that he heard the voice scream, I'm going to kill you. And one second later, he heard the body fall. One second later, that's the testimony, right? Right. And the old woman across the street. She said that she saw the killing for the last two cars of the moving elevated train, right? Right. The last two cars. The last two cars. What are you giving us here? An L train passes a given point in 10 seconds, or it takes two seconds per car. That L had been going by the old man's window for at least six seconds, or maybe more, before the body fell, according to the woman. The old man would have had to hear the boy say, I'm going to kill you, as the front of the L was roaring past his nose. It's not possible that he could have heard it. What do you mean? Sure he could have heard it. With an L train going by? You said the boy yelled it out. And an L train makes a lot of noise. It's enough for me. It's enough for me too. I don't think he could have heard it. Maybe the old man didn't even hear it. I mean with the L noise. What are you people talking about? Are you calling the old man a liar? Something doesn't fit. You're crazy. Why would the old man lie? What's he got to gain? Attention, maybe? You keep coming up with these bright sayings. Why don't you send one into the news? $2. What's that got to do with a man's life? Why might the old man have lied? Do you have a right to be heard? Well, I looked at him for a very long time, and the seam of his jacket was split underneath his arm. Did you notice that? This is an old man with a torn jacket and carried two canes. I think I know him better than anyone else here. This is a quiet, frightened, insignificant man who's never been anything all of his life. Who's never had any kind of recognition, like his name in the newspapers. Nobody knows him after 75 years, and this is a very sad thing. A man like this needs to be recognized, to be questioned and quoted and listened to just once. This is very important. So you're trying to tell us that the old man lied about something like this just so he could be important? Well, no, he wouldn't really lie. He would just make himself believe that he recognized the boy and heard those words. Well, if that isn't the most fantastic story I've ever heard, how can you come up with a thing like that? I'm not making it up. You must be making it up. Why would the old man lie about a thing like that? He made himself believe he told the truth. What do you know about it? I speak from experience. I'm sorry, what? I'm the same person. I think we all understand that. Thank you. If you want to admit you're a liar, it's all right with me. Now that's too much. Ah, she's a liar. She just said so. She did not say she was a liar. She was explaining. Didn't you just say that you're a liar? Please. She was explaining the circumstances so that we could understand why the old man might have lied. There's a difference. A liar is a liar. That's all there is to it. Please have some compassion. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our job and our duty here. I hope we cover it for you. I'm going to kill you. In the 
could yell it out at the top of his lungs. That's why I understand it. Yeah, now don't try to tell me he didn't mean it because anybody says a thing like that the way he said it, they mean it. And how they mean it. But let me ask you this. Do you really think the boy would shout out a thing like that so the whole neighborhood could hear? I don't think so. He's much too bright for that. Right. He's a common ignorant slob who don't even speak good English. <clears throat> he doesn't speak good English. The boy is clever enough. I'd like to, I'd like to change my vote to not guilty. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. The vote is 9 to 3 in favor of guilty. I'd like to know why you changed your mind. I think there is a doubt. Where? Where's the doubt then? There's a knife. You know what? I'm fine. She? She talked to me believing fairy tale. Go on, give us the reasons. The old man too. Maybe he lied, but maybe he didn't. Maybe the old man doesn't like the kid. Well, that's at the end. I think there's a reasonable doubt. What are you basing on? Stories that she made up? She ought to write the amazing detectives on me. She'd make a fortune. Well, the kid had a lawyer, didn't he? Why didn't the lawyer bring up all these points? Lawyers can't think about things like I'm hearing full stories out of thin air. Now we're supposed to believe that the old man didn't get out of bed, run to the door, and see the kid beat it downstairs 15 <coughs> seconds after the killing. That's the testimony, I believe. And the old man swore to this. Yes, he swore to this. Only so he could be important. Wait, did you say the old man ran to the door? Ran? What? What's the difference? He got there, didn't he? He said he went. I remember it now. He went from his bedroom to the front door. Now that's enough, isn't it? Where was his bedroom again? Down the hall somewhere? Down the hall? Are we going to send a boy out to the tie because it's down the hall somewhere? I thought you remembered everything. Don't you remember that? No, I don't. I don't remember that either. Foreman, I'd like to take a look at the diagram of the apartment. Okay, why don't we just have them run the trial over again, just so you can get everything straight up? The bedroom is down the hall somewhere. Do you know? Do you know exactly where it is? Please, a man's life is at stake. Do you know? Foreman, I heard you. Seems to me like you're the only one in here who ever wants to see exhibits. Uh, I like to see one too. So do I. Well, I want to stop wasting time. Are we going to start waiting for all that nonsense about what the body was found? No. We're going to figure out how a man who's had two strokes in the past three years and who walked with a pair of canes could possibly get to his front door in 15 seconds. He said 20 seconds. He said 15. How does the old man know how long 15 seconds is? You can't judge that kind of thing. He said 15. He was very positive about it. He's an old man, you saw him. At the time he was confused. How could he be sure about anything? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe you know. This is what you wanted, correct? Yes, thank you. Sure. You want this? Please. Do me a favor, clean me up this is over, will ya? I looked at that diagram for two hours. Enough is enough. Some of us are interested. Go ahead. All right. This is the diagram of the apartment in which the killing took place. The old man's apartment is directly beneath it and exactly the same. Here are the altar, the bedroom, living room, bathroom, the kitchen. Here's the front hallway, front door, and these are the steps. The old man was in bed in his room. He says that he got up, went to his bedroom door, walked down the hall, and opened his front door, all in time to see the kid racing down the stairs. Correct? Right. That's right. Fifteen seconds after he heard the body fall. Yeah, that's correct. The old man's bed is right up against the window. The length of his bedroom is about 12 feet. The length of the hall is 43 feet, six inches. So, conceivably, the old man would have had to get up, get his keys, walk 12 feet, open the bedroom door, walk 43 feet, and open the front door, all in time to see the boy racing down the stairs. Do you think this is possible? You know it's possible. I don't see why not. Yeah, you would have been in a hurry. He did hear the scream. He can only walk very slowly. They had to learn to do this, chair. You're acting like it's a long walk. It's really not. For an old man who uses canes, it's a long walk. Man. What are you doing? I want to try this thing. Let's see how long it took him. I'm going to take 12 feet, the length of the bedroom. You're crazy. You can't recreate a thing like that. Perhaps, if we could see it. This is an important point. It's a ridiculous waste of time. Just let her do it. I don't see any harm in it. Foolish, but go ahead. Hand me that chair, please. Alright, this is the bedroom door. About how far do you say 
say this from here to the door of this room? I'd say 20 feet. Just about 20 feet is close enough. So from here to the door and back is about 40 feet. That's shorter than the length of the hall. The old man would have had to move through. Would you say that? Yeah, a few feet, maybe. Look, this is absolutely insane. What makes you think you can do this? You can't stop her. Do you mind if I try, though? According to you, it'll only take 15 seconds, and we can spare that. Has anyone got a watch for the second hand? I didn't. All right, stamp your foot when you want me to start. That'll be the body falling. I'll time you from there. Let's say he uses games right at his bedside, right? Right. Okay. I, I'm ready. I'm waiting for the hand to get to 60. <laughs> Shut up. 